school, new school, mixing it up. What's up, man? Welcome to the Relationship Hour, grown folks. What's going on? Uh, we're back. We're here. What up, fam? You doing all right? Feel free to share the video. Uh, get your friends thought and take on our conversation today. Love to hear from you. What's going on, fam? Good uh, afternoon, uh, Kenya Brown. Hello. Let us know what part of the country you're checking in from. Love to uh, hear from you. What's up, Steve? Steve checking in. What's good, bro? All right, we're going to dive into today's situation. Uh, uh, feel free to call at 888 409 You can get in on today's Relationship Hour Conversation. All right, what's happening? Can you tell us what, what they talk talking about? Okay. Dear Sam, I've been dating, and they have the dating in quotation marks. Uh, this guy on and off for about six months. Mm. We were friends at first. Then we hooked up one night. Mm -hmm. hmm. The problem is that at the beginning we were both dating other people and it was fine because we were building a friendship slash romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. Now it seems to me that we're getting really close. Sometimes I think I love him. Mm -hmm. But the problem is he still hangs out with his ex-girlfriend and dates some other girls. Mm -hmm. I'm dating one of I'm dating other guys too, but I realize that the one I truly want is him. Mm -hmm. Only I can't tell him because I'm afraid of losing his friendship as well. Yeah. He says, he sometimes says that he can't see us in a long term relationship. Uh, but then he asked what I think, and I say, I just don't know because I'm afraid of scaring him off if he knew how I felt. I think he and I have that potential, but I need to know how to show him that without completely scaring him off. <laughs> hmm. Open your mouth and say how you feel. You opened your legs and showed him. Wow. So now it's time to tell him. I mean, you, you already crossed the line. Friends had sex. They tell us that, you know, you shouldn't cross the line. And they also tell us that friends, uh, before you can become great lovers, you, you need to become friends first. So, you are a friend or either you are a smash buddy, mm. you That's know, hurtful. and because you have allowed it to get this way and because you're afraid, the more you, you leave it the way it is, you will be the smash buddy. That's what you are. You're smash buddy. Mm. Yeah. So I would say, open your mouth and tell him and he might reject you. He might say, you know what? I really can't do this. Then it's up to you to decide if you're going to continue to be his smash buddy or just be his friend. It's it's smash buddy town for this smash one. Smash buddy, smash buddy. I mean, if he's saying that he's not in, he's not into it. If he's saying he can't see them yeah. long term. Smash buddy, smash buddy. <laughs> yeah. I, I think she, she may have... Uh, Unfortunately, lost a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now her feelings are all caught up in it. Triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one. We're going to read some of these comments coming in as well, and uh, get your take on it. Um, because uh, sometimes how you start is how you can end up. But communication is always the key. Say something to him. Ask him. Yeah, you have to say it. Because yeah. it's going to be over anyways once you start acting weird. You smash, buddy. Smash, buddy. And then he's probably telling you all about who he's been seeing and da-da-da-da-da and telling you this and that. So now you feel like you in and you know so much about him. And then you find you can find yourself really competing. Mm. How come he don't see that I'm really a good girl? How come he... Yeah, that's going to be rough. And then, and then you're mad, and now you're salty. Yeah, kind of salty. Um, what you got coming in? Arkea said the worst he can say is he doesn't feel the way you feel. Right. If he says that, you'll know how to proceed. And if he does tell you um, still, you know how to proceed. Communicate. Yeah. 
Spike Spike Lou said um, her going from we dated other people to I think I'm in love means they stopped using condoms. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what that means. <gasps> Right. Yeah. Mickey said, listen to the words that are coming out of his mouth. Yeah. It's all good till it becomes work. It's all good until he has to give up freedom. If he wanted to be with you solely, he would have. Either you're going to deal with him on the level y'all have. If it is uh, nat- if it is natural, it will just flow. And all this overthinking is what causes problem in- problems in relationships anyway. That's true. Uh, tell him how you feel. If the friendship is real, he will have no problems with being a friend, no matter what. Sex confuses minds and emotions. Yeah, it does. Uh, same soup show. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon. This is long time listener. I made that mistake. Hello. Yeah, we listening, bro. Yeah, I made that mistake in my twenties. Me and this girl grew up together, went to school together. We was homies. Yeah. Made that mistake, crossed that line. It was the biggest mistake I ever did. I screwed, not only did I screw up the relationship I was in, but I screwed up a very dear friendship, and we can't even look at each other in the eye right now. What did you do, man? How did you screw it up? <clears throat> Wind up catching feelings up a night of drunk sex. Mm. So one night of drunk sex, you caught feelings? No, we caught feelings. Both of you caught feelings, just after and one night. We didn't understand the consequences of our actions at the time. So what happened, bro? Were, 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 were you in a relationship with somebody else? I mean, help us out. Were, and, and then you and her kind of smashed? What happened? I was in a relationship with this female, beautiful young lady. Mm-hmm. Um, we, got a, we had a fallout and argument, you know, and then I when he picked up my homegirl. Like I said, it was strictly platonic. We was yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. And I got drunk. She was basically a shoulder to cry on, and next thing you know, one thing led to another. A simple little kiss, peck on the cheek, wind yeah. up to a, wind, wind up turning into a deep throated tongue toss. Uh-huh. Yeah, next thing you know, we at her house in the bed. I wake up the next morning, she wake up the next morning, and we are both ashamed. Now we both tried the relationship out, uh, but it didn't work because of the shame and the guilt we felt about screwing up that friendship. Not only did I screw up that friendship, but I also screwed up the relationship I was uh, already in. Mm. You know, and sometimes that could be the worst thing you could ever do. Was that drunk sex good, though? Was it good? Oh, it was sloppy good. It was a sloppy <laughs> ass good. <That's> sloppy <laughs> good, you know. Yeah. The time you wake up out there and you ain't got no hangover, uh-huh. talking about I want more, but then you realize you can't get no more. Mm-hmm. You know, one of those type things. It was good while it lasted. But you know, you ran into I ran into that brick wall and wind up screwing up a good friendship. And, so, uh, but let, I don't understand how come y'all couldn't. Uh, how long were y'all friends before y'all crossed? We was friends all the way from the sixth grade all the way to the uh, till we was about twenty two, twenty three. So, what did you? Pop, why did the relationship didn't work? What happened? What 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 caused it not to work? Because. We came up as they, we were next door neighbors in a duplex out in East Cleveland. Okay. And we lived right next door to each other. It was one of those type of close knit relationship between family and family that I would just walk in their house and they would just walk in our house. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? One of those. It was like she was a surrogate sister of say say that right there. Mm-hmm. You know, anybody did something to her, they had to deal with me. Or my family. If anybody did something to uh, my sister, they would have to deal with me and her family. You understand what I'm saying? It was one of those close knit relationships, and we actually looked at each other as if we were related. But we weren't, and like I said, crossed that line, and it didn't lead nowhere. What, what did you do? You, did you get turmoil. caught screwing one of the other girls in the complex? Were you talking to another woman? Is that what happened? No, I wasn't talking to another woman. I was just actually being trying to be faithful to the woman I was with when I crossed the line with my friend Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn. Um, <laughs> and it was just one of them No things. names. No names, and bro. I just, and I couldn't face her and she couldn't face me. And, you know, we didn't tell nobody in our family until actually months and a couple of years afterwards. And mm. they were shocked and surprised. Yeah. You know. So if, if you saw her world. now, if you saw her now, what would you say to her? I'd give her a huge hug and say, cuz, I'm sorry, baby. You know, I didn't mean it to go that far. 
And if she out there listening, I hope she hear me. What, what, what did she say about the relationship? I mean, did, who broke it off? She, she did or about, you did? She said about the relationship. She said, well, what are we going to do now? And we both just kind of looked at each other with lust. I'm not going to say love. With lust in each other's eyes. Mm-hmm. And let's try to keep this on the down low between me and you. And, and, you and, and, work out these and let, pay attention to where I'm going. And she knew your woman, right? Oh hell yeah! And was was her your woman friends? I knew her dude. Oh, you knew, I knew her too. Oh, we, she we had a dude too. The kitchen, had double day together. <laughs> you know, you understand what I'm saying? Back in the Damn. day, um, we even went to rails on the circle together, the quarter century club. So look, you so know? look, so look, man. So. After y'all had smashed and started smashing each other, both of y'all was still in relationships with other people. Right, and and and, and all actuality, those those competing relationships actually pulled me and her further apart. You know, did she give you? It's kind of hard to yeah. keep a secret when you when it's when your secret is sitting you right there in your face when you go when you out to dinner or on a double <laughs> date with you know with your so called homie, your girl and your and your girls do. And you, you know, and you and you and you know and you and you smash and so you smash you out there. Let me keep, paint, paint the picture. So you and your woman together, and you and your home girl, your female friend with her man, all y'all out, and yeah. then and then you didn't smash her the night before, but all y'all still at dinner together. Right. We never, see, it wasn't. It wasn't the night before. It was well, like I'm just. I'm just giving an example. It, it was ongoing thing. You know, so y'all had an ongoing <laughs> relationship while still in a relationship. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, it just pushed us further apart to the point where, you know, neither one of the relationships worked. Me and hers, Carolyn. And the, the, me stop and saying girl, names. Don't don't, 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 don't stop do. telling on These yourself. Worked out. Listen, so did they ever find out that y'all was smashing each other? Yeah. How did they find out? Yeah. How did they well, find out? Evidently, uh, somebody seen somebody and seen somebody and seen us. So I guess you know, rumor mill got out around and point blank period. What was y'all coming from when they probably when they when they saw y'all when that person saw y'all from saw y'all who saw y'all and the word got out? Where was y'all coming from? Uh, Off of Broadway? No, Red Roof Hotel out there around the Park Mall. Okay, (laughs) (laughs) I knew it was what. Oh my gosh. (laughs) <laughs> All right, I mean, bro. Back in the day, dog. Yeah, I got you. I got you, man. You know. All right, man. So, so it, it, yeah. Well, th- thanks for the call and helping this person out with her situation. All righty, then. I hope I could help in any type of way. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whew. Dang. So they were sitting there, as friends. They they smashing each other, but then they going out on a double date. With they man and woman, but they know they smashing each other. How to sit there and just have dinner knowing that you smashing, y'all smashing each other. It was like, you don't tear that up later. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, I mean, I don't Damn. even know how you could help this uh, woman because she already crossed the line. Her feelings are already mm-hmm. invested. Mm. She's in love with him. Mm. They are already friends. What do you do about mm. that? Mm. 888-409-0931. Feel free. You can get in. 888-409-0931. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, I was looking at the <laughs> Eagles. They, I guess people are rioting. They're saying, is it a riot or a celebration? It's probably both. Yeah, it's Philadelphia. All right. <laughs> it's their first. It's yeah, their first. yeah, yeah. But why you got to tell stuff? Triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one. Man, I mean, you just sitting at the table, and this is why some people feel some type of way about platonic friends, about your man having his best friend as a female, and vice versa, your woman best her best friend is a male. I know. And I said this before. I don't care what nobody says. I'm not saying that you can't be friends. But if he is a heterosexual man and that woman looks good, he's thought about it at least once in his lifetime. I know, but dang. Sometimes you just want some regular friends. Like You I, do. Yes, yes you do. I get along with guys so much better. Yeah. So I would be very sad if I couldn't have male friends. Mm. But... Yeah, crossing that line, that yeah. would be a little bit much. Yeah, let's take some more calls. Same Silk Show, relationship out. 
Uh, yeah, I was calling about this topic that y'all got on today. Yeah, what part of town you calling from, homie? Uh, there. Uh, east side. All like right. South Euclid. All right, go ahead. What you got to say about it? Um, well, I see it like this. If they both hooked up and they both knew that they were seeing other people, I understand the feelings involved and all that, but each party is only going to take it how far the next party let them take it. And if they've been dating this long and they've both been dating other people, how do they expect to start a long-term relationship when they both been fucking and dating other people for months? It wouldn't make no yeah. sense. Right, right. I would right. never see it working. Yeah. And I was always raised to take it for what it is and let it ride. All right, so she's a smash buddy. She is a smash buddy. She's yeah. a smash buddy, I'm saying. I done been through that long time. Long, 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 long time. I'm saying I've been I've been dating a chick for twenty plus years and she's been seeing other people, I've been seeing other people. It's you know, it is what it is. So, so you've been having a smash buddy for twenty years, twenty plus years, mate. Twenty plus years. So, how do you feel? Do you have any feelings for her? Do you like love her? I have feelings for, her, and I probably do love her. But I learned to accept things the way they were because she was hell bent on having it that way. And I was too. So, so, so she, so, 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 so she, so she was down with. Look, this is how it's been. Let's not change nothing. Right, right. Uh-huh. And I, you know, it is what it is. I'm now, a grown man. She's a grown woman. Are, are you? Are you? Are are you uh, in a relationship with someone else? Yeah. Okay. So, who is she to the person you're in relationship with? Does the person you're in relationship know that that's your homie? Hmm. No. <laughs> Why not? She's a friend for 20 some years. How do you hide her? Well, hey, I can't explain it. All I know is what I've been a part of. Uh-huh. And, um, hey, hey it's, 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 you know, like I said. Does, does your family know her? Yeah. So your family know that she's a smash buddy. Now, does do, do you know her family? Yeah. Okay. I know all her family. You know all her family. Yeah. Do you, Do you know her man? Uh, I've seen him a couple of times. Yeah. Do y'all ever talk? Nah, hell no. Nah. Okay. All right. All right. That's respectful. Yeah. Be respectful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't I be... mean, I respect the game. You know. I uh, mean, I know what it is. Yeah. And I respect it. I won't. I will never overstep the boundaries. I will never disrespect her. Yeah. I don't disrespect nobody for that matter, but this you know, is it, 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 know. It's, it's, certain people can deal with it, yeah. certain people can't deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you two ever well, have problems between the two of you, like uh, jealousy? And I'm gonna tell you something. This is funny because we ain't never had an argument in all the years we've been. All the years that I've been seeing her, never had an argument, never had a disagreement about nothing. Mm. And and how many years y'all been Smash Buddies? Man, it's been like twenty plus years. All right. Twenty plus and, years. And how many it's other relationships my, have you had? Like how many other relationships that you've been with women? Like this was your woman. Uh, maybe like one or two, maybe. So you don't think that all that time that y'all had, y'all could have just been together and been happy? I mean, I believe that. But it's kind of hard for me to trust. Why? Why? It's hard for me to trust it simply because this was how we met. He know the capabilities. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you know, so on the other side. So it's always that doubt. In the back of my mind, it's probably in the back of her mind too. Yeah, that them but, tendencies gonna come out eventually, huh? That's well, 
It might come out, but <laughs> shit, it's been twenty five plus years. It ain't, it, it ain't, it ain't out yet. Yeah, yeah. So wow. I don't think it's coming out. Wow. All right, bro. Hey, hey, thanks for the call, man. Thanks for the call. All right, my brother. All right, all right. Damn, so he been he had a smash buddy. He there's 22 years and smash buddies. 22 years. He's in a relationship. She in a relationship. He know her man. I need I need I need I don't even smoke, but I need a smoke break. That's crazy. And what's tripped out is that they've never argued. Yeah. They get along yeah. sexually. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. But he doesn't want her to be his woman because yeah. he knows how she sneaks around. Yeah. Well, yeah. All the stuff. And 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 when you used to sneak, it was good, you know. Right. You, you know, sneaking, sneaking and getting some was good. You know, you get, get them quickies. You'd be glad when your mom and them leave. Come on over. Hurry up. <laughs> so when you sneak, it's good. Uh, but for 22 years of just sneaking and 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 they bought in relations and other people, they could have been happy with each other. Maybe she wouldn't sneak with him. Maybe you know she would just be re- a reformed sneaker. What do you guys got to say before we go? We got like three more minutes. What do you got to say about today's conversation and the two gentlemen who called and shared their thoughts on today's conversation? Now Pamela said it's too late to try to upgrade from a jump off to a girlfriend. Or possibly a wife. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Patricia said he told you that he don't. Um, I don't know. Think it will work. Uh, leave it as it is. Don't have sex with your friend anymore because you can't control your feelings. Yeah, man, <laughs> this is some. I'm still in shock. I, I mean, I'm still in shock over 22 years. Now this may sound horrible. But that's almost dope that you can have a girlfriend for 22 years that you don't argue with. <laughs> Y'all have really don't have no disagreements. She understands you have a woman and she sheds up. And good sex. And good sex. Mm. Probably where you want the other one she's smashing her dude. Well, dang. But, but, those feelings. I, I ain't going to lie to you. 22 years, that's a long time. But somewhere along the line, he was like, yeah, I love you, but no. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to share this video and ask your <laughs> friends about this. What just happened is going to make everybody who's watching think about your man and woman and their platonic friends or any new friends. Nobody tells about the Smash Buddy. Man. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm in shock here. The collars were just as good as the letter. I can't and hey letter buddy lady lady hopefully you got your help from this one Sam Silk we do it again tomorrow y'all